What is up guys, this is Olynthia Yo, coming at you with a discussion video about cookie cutter decks and the rise of it and possible discussion of are they coming back? Now if you don't know what I mean, cookie cutter decks are basically a deck that is full of generic really good cards. Very early in the day of Yu-Gi-Oh there were cookie cutter decks, that was it, there weren't really any archetypes at all and even if there were they couldn't stand up to these decks that just had Tribe Infected Virus, Cyber Jar, Fiber Jar, Graceful Charity, Pot of Greed, Painful for choice, all these cards that were just thrown into decks because they worked and they were so powerful that they didn't need to necessarily gel together because they were all just so overpowered. In recent years, as, as the game's gone on, archetypes have been more introduced and more focused on. This hasn't happened because simply, if you don't have a deck that works together, if you've just thrown in random cards, then the chances are you're not gonna do very well because themed decks have very powerful cards at their arsenal. Over the past kind of couple of weeks and months, there's been a lot more decks that have artifacts thrown in, and then trap tricks thrown in, and then the hands thrown in. While I'm not discrediting archetypes, saying that they're phased out, they're gone, archetypes are still the best thing. If you want to do well and build a good deck, you need to stick to an archetype. And while that's quite linear, and some people might say, it's the sad truth of where the game is at currently. But going on to discussion, are cookie cutter decks starting to make a bit of a comeback? I think they are in a sense of a very small minute point. They kind of are in an essence because while they're archetypes, the hands aren't really an archetype, trap tricks are an archetype and artifacts are an archetype, but they're being thrown together. So that's three different types of cards that are going in together and just work. Then you throw in some generic good traps. So your Black Corner Heavens, your Trap Stuns, your Solemn Warning, your Trends of Tribute, Compulsive Activation, and so on and so forth. That is starting to get quite cookie cutter if you ask me and it's not necessarily a bad thing because it's quite nice to see something a little bit refreshing the one thing is is that really going to take off? Now, one of the big decks that will be coming to the TCG in not too long now is Shadows. And we all know that Shadows is an archetype, very heavy archetype. I don't think it's really going to struggle against like a cookie cutter deck, for example, because you can think that cookie cutter is kind of like anti-meta because all the best anti-meta cards are kind of thrown in the one deck and that's how it is. It never really works. Like anti-meta will occasionally pop up more at the start of a format. And if you do play anti-meta, I'm not dissing the deck. Like it's a pain in the arse to deal with, definitely. And I do enjoy playing it every so often when I'm a little bit bored or I'm hating on a specific deck. It's just not good enough to stand up in my opinion. And I feel that cookie cutter decks, if they do start to rise up again, I feel that it's only due to new cards coming out so everyone and their mothers are throwing them into a deck to try and make them work. And therefore the decks are just topping simply because there is a mass amount of of decks being played at that one event that have the same cards. I'm not saying that they're bad, I just feel that it's going to be a quick phase in my opinion. I don't think it's going to be around for too long. And while artifacts can be thrown into basically any deck, I think that it is a small element of cookie cutter that we did have once back in the day. If I'm completely honest, cookie cutting won't come back to its original form that we did have if you played back in those formats. It's just not going to happen. It's something that is a bit of a shame because it's quite entertaining just to see all these mash decks actually work, but I feel that although it's starting to come back in certain ways, as in archetypes have been amalgamated together, it's more of a temporary thing. So let me know down in the comment section below what you think, because it's quite an interesting thing, especially if you did play in the formats where they were just very original cookie cutter decks. So as I said, let me know down in the comment section below, like, comment, subscribe, and I shall catch you guys later.